Welcome to our fridge. This is Jamie and I'm Ben. Today we're welcoming back something old but also brand new. I love these. So this is how it's going to work. We've got our friend James who is a chef and our friend Jamie who is normal and they're going to be presented with a mystery box of ingredients. I, the, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Would you like to remove the tea towel? So I've got a load of veg, we've got some meat and fish options. Fermented stuff and some grains and some nuts. <laughs> Sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> and some fruit. Now many of the ingredients in the box have been chosen because they are beneficial to something that has sparked our interest recently, gut health. And gut health is important. When you eat food, it makes its way through your digestive system and it's on this journey that as a human, we are hugely supported by trillions of bacteria in our guts. These microbes, a blanket term for any tiny organism, assist with digestion, train our immune system, and also protect your body from harmful bacteria. Recent research has shown that an increase in diversity of these microbes is linked to a reduction in diabetes, obesity, and may even help to lower your risk of mental health conditions. So how do you increase microbe diversity? Mm. By eating a good balance of probiotics and prebiotics. Probiotics are the live beneficial microbes we've been talking about, and prebiotics are the foods that feed them. Most prebiotics are actually types of fibres found in plant-based foods. The human body doesn't directly need them, but the good microbes in our guts do. And it turns out we really need them. They help keep everything in harmony. And because we're not an expert, we've invited someone in to guest judge who is. Dr. Megan Rossi is an expert in gut health and she's gonna judge the dishes at the end without knowing who cooked which. You have 40 minutes starting in three, two, one, go. Oh my God. I'm thinking tray bake, which means that I can get lots of different types of veg in with like a bean and grain salad with maybe like a, a yogurt dip. Like pan roasted artichokes with lots of texture. My guess is that I can just peel them, chop them up and chuck them in to the tray and roast them all off at the same sort of time. The chicken stock that I cook the artichokes in, I might like reduce down as well if I've got time for a sauce. <sighs> <laughs> Are you worried about your competition today? Yeah, of course. I think it depends on how many of these gut healthy ingredients I can get in, because I think that's what the doctor's going to be looking for over and above what's a really chefy technique or flavour combos and things like that. I'm seasoning because flavour. What are you doing? What are? Maybe he's not going to use it. <laughs> well, we eat it later on, don't you? Don't snack on a, like, you don't pick up a fish and snack on it, do you? Um, Healthy what? proteins, good omega-3. Yeah, I don't care! Uh, I'm going to toast some seeds off for flavour. Oh, what do I want to do with my chicken? I've got some spices and some herbs. Um, do I want to peel this? Looks like I'm peeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Amaranth is going to go in here, and who knows what's going to happen with that. James? Yeah? Are there any left in the pan? <laughs> <laughs> what I am going to do is get some flavour in the middle of my breast. I just puffed some amaranth. Really delicate popcorn. This herb mix is what I like to call blagging it. It's tarragon oregano, a bit of basil, and then I'm going to basically mix it with some um, olive oil and then baste my chicken with it. Hoosa. <laughs> <sighs> You have 25 minutes remaining. Now I can actually start thinking about what I want to serve it with. I chose a central element, so artichokes we don't get to cook very often, and now I'm uh, roasting it in the pan with garlic and butter. I'm feeling reasonably calm. It's just whether everything works together that I'm a bit worried about. Right, okay, so I want to make a yogurt dip. I'm going to make a bean grain salad type thing. I feel like James is taking each individual ingredient and doing one simple thing, mm. process or mm. flavour with it. Whereas Jamie is being familiar and safe, this is mm -hmm. a one tray dish that I kind of know will work. Yeah. Confidence, confidence, confidence. Fresh, let's go fresh. Yeah. That's mint. Right, good. <laughs> <laughs>
20 minutes. I'm making a sauce out of the chicken stock, so I'm just like adding a little bit of fennel for flavour. To be honest with you, I'm glad I'm this side. Yeah. I'm dreading my go that side. <laughs> oh. He's had an idea. Could I make this into a pesto salad? Uh, from what I can remember of how to make pesto, it's olive oil, it's pine nuts, it's parmesan, it's basil, it's garlic. Can I have some garlic, please? Oh, yes, thank you. Dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> I started to get experimental, and I'm losing confidence again. I tell you what, it doesn't look like any pesto I've ever seen before, but it tastes <laughs> great. What I'm going to do is put a spoonful of the pesto into the beans and oh, grains, okay. mix it up, try it, and then I can always add more in. Unlucky for some, but 13 minutes remaining. I'm just going to grill this goat's cheese to get it all melty and gooey so it goes over the dish really nice. Oh, it's sizzling. My eyes! <laughs> My eyes! <laughs> ah! Oh, hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> the baking paper caught fire. But it's fine. There's some flavour going on in that oven. Right. My heart rate's at 110. <laughs> <laughs> that should give you some indication as to how I'm feeling. I'm slicing this pear really thinly. The sweetness of the pear is going to go perfectly with the other flavours. Um, so what this is, is going to be yoghurt dip. Um, one of the things that goes really well with yoghurt is lemon. So I'm going to just dribble a bit of lemon juice into it. Um, what I'm then going to do is stand here for about a minute and ponder what else I could add to that <laughs> yoghurt dip to make it slightly more interesting than just yoghurt and lemon. It's an Italian yoghurt. I'm just going to chop up tarragon and stir it through my yoghurt. Definitely just gave him oregano. <laughs> it's oregano. That's the one you want. Is it plating time yet? Yeah, definitely plating time. It's definitely plating time. Five minutes. I'm going to go simple, like a chef would do. I have started plating. I've got my sauce still going. I've just deglazed the artichoke pan um, as an afterthought. I'll just combine that with my chicken stock and then uh, put it through a fine sieve. Do I want to keep the veg as it is or do I want to do something different with it? Do I want to blend it up? Uh, this is sauerkraut. Who knows if that's going to work? Wonderful colours. Beautiful. Slice some chicken up. That could, that could be my downfall, actually. Chicory. Because it's kind of like a dividing flavour, you know? Mate, you've got two minutes. Oh, what's he done? He's, he's trying to make it. He's, he's making a dome. He's making a dome. <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What? That's he's crazy. Got, he's got, you've got a minute. You've got a minute. He's getting the blender out. That's not going to work. Oh, my God. Oh, you know what would be nice? A little jug. Mate, you've got 15 seconds. You're making last minute changes now. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Fresh battle finish. 4, 3, 2, 1. Ta da! <laughs> 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 Strong. Let's take him to the sexies. You're standing next to me, I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am. Very excited, guys. So we have... Da, 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 butter roasted Jerusalem artichokes. Mm, mm, mm. Plenty of prebiotics in there that our gut bacteria love to eat. Well, I can smell it, it smells amazing. Number two. Do we have a drum roll? <laughs> no, that's the sound of that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is looking fancy. So this is Italian herb to breast of chicken. I love the diversity there. Again, our microbes love plant-based diversity. Mm. Very moist, cooked to perfection. A slight bit of crunch, but so soft and tender inside. The cheese is a winner, as is the juice. Very mm. impressive. Mm. Whoever cooked that one. Mm. Mm. I can't wait to try this bean mix. Mm. Basil for me is like one of my favourite herbs. That pesto 
is finger licking good. Mm. Mm. And also this beetroot, that colour just highlights how many good plant-based nutrients in it. This is tense. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you know what? It is going to be difficult. When I look at them, I think that this one probably here has got more gut-loving foods. In terms of taste though, you know, it's pretty special with the juice as well. I could make this at home potentially. I don't know if I could make this at home. Oh. Oh. So what, what, am I, what am I gonna do? Is it is it a way up between health or is it taste? So oh this one here. It's oh. your favourite. Yeah. Fantastic. Who won? Brianna, who cooked that one? Oh well done, James. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Jamie, you did a really good job. A really good job. We'll go. That was too close. That was too close. <laughs> yeah, you went poncy, didn't you? Yeah. Mm. Of course you did. That pesto mm -hmm. and the garlic in there. Oh. And that was a tough box of ingredients as well. Mm. I can't believe Jamie nearly won. I can't believe it. <laughs> Jay, you did amazingly well. Like, it was so close. You know, if you'd so had that close. smear, maybe it would have given oh, me extra points. No. I'm being serious. <laughs> Did you like the return of Mystery Box? I did. If you did, give the video a like, let us know, we'll get making some more. Yeah, and a massive shout out and thanks to Megan Rossi. We're gonna link her Instagram and to a blog she's written in the description box down below. Basically, if you wanna read more, she's written all this stuff much more succinctly than we could ever say. I think we all learned a lot today, but we really want to hear from you. Did you learn anything? Were you interested? Do you even care? Yeah, and we want you to be honest. So comment down below, tell us everything you think about it. And if you head over to the community tab, there's some extra stuff there. Namely, more about my gut and what I get up to at the weekend. That is such a reason to not go to the community tab. <laughs> and if that wasn't reason enough to leave, here's dad joke of the week. So you've heard of Murphy's Law, right? Everything that can go wrong will. Have you heard of Cole's Law? <laughs> it's just shredded cabbage, if I'm honest. Cole's Law. Cole's Law. There is mayonnaise, sometimes carrots. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends. So if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks and hope to see you in a few days. What does it smell like? Oh, big out. <laughs> <laughs>